Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Bow Two Light Interior Bath Sconce. This is the 2013-46. Hubbardton says that this is a bath sconce, but you can use this anywhere. It uh, doesn't have to be just in the bath. They want to make sure that you know that this can be used in the bath. Um, but like I said, it's great for any place in your house. Can't use it outside. It's not an exterior fixture. It is, it is an interior fixture and an awesome one at that. Um, okay, let's get into a lot of details on this. So you can run this either vertically, which would be this way, going up and down, or you can run it horizontally like over a mirror. People will use this in bathrooms over a mirror, flanking the mirror coming down. It's also a great one to use uh, because the projection is only 5.8 coming out from the wall. It'd be nice in a hallway or in a, like a, a TV room. So you can kind of line the walls with them. It'd be pretty cool. It's a dimmable sconce, so you want to put it on a dimmer. Uh, make sure that you tell your installer you're using LEDs if you are going to be doing that so they put the right dimmer on the wall. Okay, so let's talk about the size of this based on the fact, based on if you use it this way, okay, vertically. 20.4 inches high, 5 inches wide. Back plate on it is 5 inches in diameter. It's going to go over a standard junction box. How you see more details <clears throat> about this is you're going to look at the installations instructions. So if you're on the page for this on handmadeinvermont.com, look over on that side over there under the pull-down menus and you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. Open that up for me. Lots of good information. There's a full parts list. It's going to show you how to put the glass on using this tool, which I'll talk about in a second. But there's a lot of good things that you should know there. And you can look at it now. You can take that link and you can email that to your installer so they get a chance to see it before you ever order it. Okay. Um, okay. So I got it into the projection, 5.8. Uh, what else? Mounting height from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of the electrical outlet box is 10.2 inches. That's if you're going to be running it this way. It's going to be using a medium base socket, two of them. Okay two of these porcelain sockets. This is just the same size that we've always used all of our life. Hubbardton Forge says it is a type B bulb. <clears throat> the type B is kind of the shape of a bulb and it's, it's this basically, but it has a, a wide base. The reason they want you to use a type B is because when you're putting the glass on, this needs to go over this. So this can't be one of the wider bulbs, just keep that in mind. They say to use a type B, I think you should use a type T, a T10. So a T10 is going to be this guy. T10 is used in exit signs all over the place. So you should be able to get this in any hardware store you run into because exit signs are everywhere and they're always needed. You can use this as an LED. This is a probably a 40 watt LED. These max out at 60 watt equivalent LEDs. If you want to go incandescent, it's going to max out for the most part at a 60 watt too. You can get these in clear. You can get them in... Um, uh, frosted, same deal with this little guy, and you are good to go. So let's kind of talk about how to put that glass on. And that glass is a fluted clear glass. It's really pretty. Um, but let's talk about how it goes on. So you're going to notice you've got your threaded socket, okay, threaded on the side. It's going to have this retaining ring, right, and the flat side goes this way. So it's going to go on like that. <clears throat> but your hand is too big to get inside of that glass. So this is going to kind of be the proxy for that, right? So <clears throat> you're going to put the glass over this, and the bulb you're going to put in first, right? You're going to slide this over the socket. So let's kind of do this as a little demo. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're going to take your retaining ring tool, this thing. You're going to take your retaining ring that has these little edges on it. See those little ribs? And it fits right inside, just like that. You're going to slide the glass on. You're going to take that whole thing. You're going to slide it in. And you're going to do this. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. Remember that. Don't do it too tight. You don't want to break your glass. And once you get it nice and snug, you're going to pull this out of the glass and everything's going to be great. And you're going to put this into a junk drawer someplace in your house. Okay? Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the handmadeinvermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video. So it's really important that you kind of watch the video, use the chart. You can click on that chart on different things. So you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke. Click on burnished steel or, or uh, 
natural iron, it'll do the same thing. But it's really important that you understand how Hubbardson Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different, on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, well, we're up to 400 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a What's On Display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinue things in showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing, that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half, and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email, and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.